Pernax has a presence in 80 plus countries. Now, of course, the movie theaters have been closed. Now you've got to reopen them. How you do that safely, the CEO will tell us in a moment. And you've got to get production back again. Special production designed for IMAX. Richard Gelfon is the CEO. He joins me from Long Island. Always good to see you, Richard. You're looking well, and that's, and that, that's good to see you too. Um, all right, you're opening these movie theaters at different paces in different countries. Give us an idea of what you've learned so far about the reopening process. Uh, good to see you as well, Richard, hopefully in person sooner rather than later. Um, the reopening process has different elements in different territories, but it has some common factors. And they're basically social distancing, where employees wearing a mask, hand sanitizer, ways to make people feel safe. But it's actually a little bit more complicated than other industries because it's, there's really three phases. Phase one is open the physical theaters. Phase two is new films being released in theaters. And then phase three is audiences coming back. Where it started to happen, there are some, I heard your intro and I heard some of your, um, you know, you questioning where they're going to come back. But we've seen surprising early demand. So in places, like Korea, we've had very good results with some older movies in the Netherlands. Um, we sold out for 10 days in a row with some older Chris Nolan movies in a capacity constrained way. So I think people will come back. Right. Okay, but can you can you make movies in while still doing social distancing? I mean, you know, you can't have a kiss scene in a movie while you wear, I mean, do, never mind whether you're wearing masks or not. Do you have to test everybody almost on a daily basis to make sure? How do you reopen making movies? So um, the first part, Richard, is that most of the movies that are coming out this year through 2020 are already in the can. So they've been made, they've been through post-production, and they're pretty much ready to go. Um, in terms of restarting production, um, in the UK, production has restarted in some places. In LA, it's going to start in a more limited way, and there are other countries where it started. And you're quite right. There are definitely challenges. On a blockbuster, uh, the crew and the cast is going to have to take over a hotel. I think certain kinds of scenes you did with lots of people, you might have to, have to use computer graphics. Like other things in the world, it may not be exactly the same as it was, but people are resilient and there's some time to do that because of the backlog in the camp. Richard, can you make money with movie theaters that are maybe only 30 or 40 percent full because of the social distancing requirements and the capacity constraints? And secondly, the, the extra costs of making the movies, which will be much more expensive than, than previously. Can you make money? So, Richard, I'm really glad you asked that question because sometimes people confuse industries. So you, I'm sure you've talked a lot about restaurants where it's difficult to make money at 50% capacity. But um, movie theaters, a very successful multiplex, has about 20% of capacity. A not-so-successful one is about... 15% of capacity. So you don't have, you don't, your break even is not high like in a Broadway theater or, or in a restaurant, it's relatively low. The challenge is moving people away from Friday and Saturday nights into other periods. But I think that's gonna happen organically because frankly, I'm older right. than our typical moviegoer. Our typical moviegoer, a millennial, will go on Saturday night, but I'm gonna go on Wednesday night because my job is going to look different. So as the whole society looks different, I think you can make money because it'll spread itself out more. In terms of movies costing more money, given the examples I used to you before, I think they'll just be written a little bit differently. And by the way, I don't think this is going to last for you know such a long time that productions won't return sure. to normal you know, in the next number of months. So yes, I think right. studios can make money. I think exhibitors can make money. That's fascinating. I never realised that the break-even point was like that. Thank you. Richard Gelfond, always good to see you. Keep well, sir. I appreciate Great it. To see you.